Lillian Evelyn Mahler Gilbreth, May 24, 1878, January 2, 1972, was an American psychologist and industrial engineer. One of the first working female engineers holding a Ph.D., she is held to be the first true industrial, organizational psychologist. She and her husband Frank Bunker Gilbreth, Senior war efficiency experts who contributed to the study of industrial engineering in fields such as motion study and human factors. The books Cheaper by the Dozen and Bells on Their Toes, written by their children Ernestine and Frank Jr., tell the story of their family life with their twelve children, and describe how they applied their interest in time and motion study to the organization and daily activities of such a large family. Gilbreth was born in Oakland, California on May 24, 1878. She was the second of eleven children of William Mahler, a builder's supply merchant, and Danny Delger. Both parents were of German descent. She was educated at home until she was nine years old, when her formal schooling began at a public elementary school, where she was required to start from the first grade, although she was rapidly promoted through the grades. She attended Oakland High School, where she was elected vice president of her senior class. She graduated with exemplary grades in May 1896. Gilbreth started college at the University of California, Berkeley shortly after, commuting by streetcar from her parents' Oakland home. She graduated from the University of California in 1900 with a bachelor's degree in English literature and was the first female commencement speaker at the university. She originally pursued her master's degree at Columbia University where she was exposed to the subject of psychology through courses under Edward Thorndike. However, she became ill and returned home, finishing her master's degree in literature at the University of California in 1902. Her thesis was on Ben Johnson's play Bartholomew Fair. She met her future husband Frank Bunker Gilbreth, Sr. in June 1903 in Boston. Massachusetts, and married him on October 19, 1904, in Oakland. Gilbreth completed a dissertation and attempted to obtain a doctorate from the University of California in 1911, but was not awarded the degree due to non-compliance with residency requirements for doctoral candidates. This dissertation was later published as The Psychology of Management. Instead, since her immediate family had relocated to New England by this time, she attended Brown University and earned a Ph.D. in 1915, having written a second dissertation on efficient teaching methods called Some Aspects of Eliminating Waste in Teaching. It was the first degree granted in industrial psychology. She died on January 2, 1972 in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank <laughs> you.